All right, guys, welcome to the first video of the Preocto build that I'm gonna be doing. Um, first thing we gotta do is make sure we can get the tent off the windows here. Um, if we can't get that tent off, the project's dead in the water. So, and I'm thinking this is gonna, probably gonna be the hardest part of the whole build. Um, so I'm nervous that I won't be able to get it off, but we'll find out soon. Um, so yeah, that's where we're gonna start. Uh, but first, we have to get rid of all this here all the goodies, all the stuff that makes the Ecto-1 the Ecto-1. So, uh, let's get into it. So now I get all the accessories off and now I have to figure out how to get these light bars off. Um, but before I do that, before I get into that stuff, um, I'm going to try to get this tent off first. Uh, cause if I can't get that off, like I said, it's a no go. Um, and I don't want to deal with trying to take these off and ruining anything. Um, if I can't, if, if, if I can't do it anyway. So, so let's go ahead and try to get this tent off. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna try to film me trying to do that. Um, like I said, I got a couple different ideas and what might work, hopefully will work, but uh, they're on there really good. And you really don't even feel, you can barely feel, like even with my nail, I don't feel any lip there, like where the sticker starts or the decal starts. So they're on there really, really good. So I'm gonna try to use some Gooby Gone and I'm also gonna to try to heat it up and hopefully that'll work. Um, I might even try to find a way to tear to take this door apart. But even if I do that, I can't do that for these. This is gonna be the hardest part here, back here. Um, so we'll see, let's, let's dig into it and see what happens. All right guys, so after trial and error, I finally got one door, one window done, uh, getting the tent off. So this tent, if anyone is gonna try this, I don't know if anyone else out there is crazy enough to try this. Like I am, but if you are gonna try this or for whatever reason, um, to get this tent off, it's not like decals, like you just peel it off. It, it doesn't peel off at all. Um, it's like, it's almost like the whole thing is just a residue. It's like, uh, there's no there's no taking it off in pieces, right? Um, so after trial and error, as you can see, I kind of scratched the hell out of the window here a little bit right here. Um, because I started off using, I <laughs> started off using this, just trying to get like a corner or get, you know, whatever. It wasn't coming off, right? I was using Goo Gone, which I thought would work. Um, it does work for something else. I'll tell you in a second, but, uh, that wasn't working either. So finally, I hit it with my heat gun and I started, I noticed how I was damaging it so much with this. I actually thought I was doing it lightly and it wasn't scratching it, but dummy me, it was scratching the hell out of it. So then I hit it with a heat gun and tried to use a plastic putty knife to not scratch it as much. And that was working a little bit. Um, still leaving some scratches and stuff here and there and really wasn't working all that great. So I'm like, well, I guess let's try more heat. I was scared to overheat it because I didn't want to bend the plastic and warp it and everything. Um, I actually took this whole window out and I'll show you on the other side how I did that. It's very, very simple. Uh, so I took, took this whole window out, which made it way more easy, um, especially since the tent is up in here also. Like this window comes up and the tent starts on the edge, in, you know, inside. So I still don't know how I'm gonna do these back parts here. Um, I might have to see if I can take the car apart. We will see, um, probably. I, I, don't, I don't really see doing it without taking the car apart. But anyway, so that wasn't working that great either. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna heat the hell out of this. So I just continued heating it, basically until it got to the point where I could wipe it off with a rag. Um, and so I just kept wipe, heating it, wiping it, heating it, wiping it. 
and it was coming off. Um, not fun, not easy, but I got it off. So at least I know I know now that it can be done. Don't know how I'm gonna do these back ones. I should be able to be, take apart all four doors though. Actually, I should be able to take apart all five doors. It's just these two windows on this side and the two on that side that uh, it's gonna be very, very hard to get. Um, so also, after I got the tent out, uh, I wanted to see if I could get all this dirt off of the window. And a little bit of gooby gone, or goo gone. This is a latex paint uh, kind. Uh, I don't know if it's any different than like the regular brand, but uh, worked like a charm. Put that on there, let, let it sit for a minute, wiped it all down, and all that dirt off the window came off. So now the window is nice and clear um, and with no tint. So, so that's how I'm doing it, guys. Um, all this is trial and error with me because, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's just, <laughs> it's a shame I got these scratches here, but it doesn't bother me all so much because this is the Pre-Ecto and that was also a, um, a car that was in pretty bad shape. So not too concerned with that. I should be able to do the rest without putting too many scratches on it now that I know what I'm doing. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the other side door. I will record me taking, a, taking it apart real quick just so you can see how that's done. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm really trying to do this without having to try to take the whole car apart. I don't know if it's even possible. I don't know how difficult that would be. Uh, my fear is getting it back together correctly. <laughs> so, uh, But this ain't bad. This is two screws and, and, and you're done. So um, on this project, I am doing the entire inside as well. I'm going to be redoing all the inside, all this, all the equipment, all that stuff's coming out. Um, if it can come out, I'm pretty sure all the equipment will come out. The chair is going to be coming out. The chair on this side, I don't know if it's, if it's removable at all. I really hope so because that's going to really hurt my idea if that doesn't come out. Um, but yeah, I'm redoing all the inside too, guys. So. I mean, I might, I might have to take the car apart. It might have to, but for now, I'm just, I'm just working on the windows. Uh, but now I know that it is possible to get the tent off. It is possible to clear to clean all the dirt on the windows. Um, and for that matter, all the dirt in the whole car. Um, so I'm gonna have to sand this all down to paint it. Um, and I got a feeling though, that these stickers are like the same as these tent. Um, there's no peeling this sticker off. Um, I can already tell. You're gonna have to scrape this off. It's, I don't know, it's bad, it's bad. Um, yeah, I still might, I still might see if I can swap these doors, because I can go back in and swap this window out as well, now that I know that I can do that, so. Oh, uh, that's not a big deal. But, uh, all right guys, so let's move to the other side real quick. I'll just show you real quick how I got the window out, and we'll go from there. All right guys, so removing this window, hopefully they're the same for all of them. Um, it's real easy though. You just pull this off. Now the other side came right off. Uh, it did have some glue residue. So it looks like this one is glued on better, which I was worried about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it with the heat gun. Hopefully this will loosen up the glue in there and hopefully I'll be able to take it off. Okay, so I cannot get this one off right now. I'm gonna have to work on this, but this one's on there really, really good. Then I went to this door to try it, and this one basically came right off. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, there, Some of the parts are glued well, some of them are not glued well at all. So, um, so anyways, if you can get those off, then there's just two screws. Let's get the camera here. Then there's just two uh, little screws right here and right here. Take those out. You can see the glue residue. It's just, it didn't hold as much as on the other side. This side came off just as easy as the passenger front door over there. Thank God that didn't break. So then this pops off. And then you can 
pull this. Um, out. Trying to be careful not to break anything here. Then you got the glass out like this. So, as you can see, the tent goes all the way to the edges where you can't even see it anyway. So it's almost like it's the only way you could take that tent off is by taking the windows out. So we'll see what I can do with this. I don't know But these windows here. I just don't know how I'm going to do these, window, these back windows here. But uh, anyways, that is how you take out the windows on the doors anyway. I just got to work more on this one to get the glue residue uh, melted enough to be able to pry it off. But yeah, so then I'm just going to heat this up real good and just start working my way rubbing it with a with a towel. So So then after you get that off like that, then you heat it up some more and take the rest of the residue off with a rag. So that's how I'm doing that. All right, guys. So what I got so far is I cleaned the windshield. So that looks uh, not dirty. <laughs> um, there's definitely some scratches that I, I, I couldn't help but leave. Um, and there is a smudge mark because I tried to do the use the goo gone on the inside of the windshield, quickly realized for whatever reason, the material on the inside is different from the outside and it left that mark and I can't get it off. So that sucks. There's a smudge mark on the driver's side over there on the windshield. Other than that, got it nice and clean. I got these two windows cleaned and also took the tent off and put those back together. Again, this one has the scratches here that sucks, but it is what it is trial and error uh just i kind of wish that was on the other side because i kind of want to think i'm going to display this side of the car i'm not sure maybe not um anyways so i got these windows clean windshield cleaned no tent no dirt still got to figure out how to do these ones uh i got this back window clean because i was just testing it but still got to do the tent and i got this side these two windows cleaned with no tent and no uh dirt so looks pretty good so far um yeah so i just i gotta figure out how to do these back windows here uh it would be the biggest biggest pain in the ass to try to get in there with my hands because the way you got to do this it's it's actually pretty hard and you got to put a lot of pressure when you're cleaning um i don't i don't so i don't know if i can do that from the inside here I don't think I can, like, I really don't. So I don't know. I'm not flip this car over. Um, I did flip it over earlier to kind of, kind of take a look. It looks like there's screws that holds the body on. I mean, it kind of looks like I could just take those screws out and the body will lift up. I, I doubt it's that easy. I highly doubt it's that easy. Uh, so I had to look further into it, but... Yeah, bummer about these because that's going to be so hard to get. Um, now, it looks like, looks like the actual glass. It looks like it's glued in. Um, so, yeah, so we'll see. And then even this one, I don't think I can take this apart. So I took the doors apart, all the doors apart to get the four door windows um, clean. This one's not the same type of deal. So I don't think I can take this door apart. So again, I'm gonna have to try to clean this without doing it. And that's gonna be really hard. So, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I got a lot done today. I actually did get a lot done. So here's all the mess of the 
all the roof stuff that I won't be using. It's like such a shame that I won't be using any of that stuff there. So as you can tell, there's going to be a lot of holes that I'm going to have to patch up. I got to sand these down, patch the holes up, holes here. When I take these out, there'll be more holes. Um, big ass hole here, then on this side, got to sand this down, um, fill in all these holes with putty, sand it down. I also have to cut these fenders out. I don't even know if this is called a fender, but these wheel covers here. I like cut that out on both sides, cut these right off. Um, cause the Preacto one has the, does not have these on there. Um, uh, of course, got to take these lights off and these back ones. I'm either going to leave these lights on and paint them or take these out and do something else. Build my own or something to make it look more movie accurate because these are not movie accurate to the Preacto. So, don't know about that yet. Got to take this light out. Got to take this mirror, this light, this mirror, all this. It's still like, got a lot more coming off. And, um, yeah, so the hard, hard, definitely the hardest part is going to be getting this tent off these back windows. Once I get that, um, I'll feel a lot better about the project. So I did decide to just use the one with the better stickers. Um, I may or may not regret, regret that when I get replacement stickers, hopefully from Blitzway, um, um, yeah, hopefully um, I'll be able to get these replaced on the other one that I modified already. So, all right, guys, that's what I got so far. I'm going to take a break for the day, um, play with my doggies. But, yeah, it's getting there. It's looking good so far. It's weird seeing this with clean windows. It's pretty cool, though. I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that I was able to do that for sure. So, all right, guys, have a great one, and until the next video, I'll see you.